Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery. And guess what? I got embroidery mail. And guess what? Even better, I have a friend here. She has never seen all access. If you can guess who it is, guess. Hello. <laughs> it's Lynn. It's Lynn. Can everybody hear me? Nobody's commenting. Hi, Sue. Hi, Nisha. And Lynn. And Lynn. <laughs> yes, everyone can hear me. So Lynn has never seen an all access. And I'm always talking about it and talking about it and talking about it. And uh, she thought it would be really fun to come and explore it. So newbie, um, go away, Beetlejuice. Go away, Beetlejuice. <laughs> Mommy loves you, but go away. Shoo. So this is the November 2020 issue. And from the front of it, it looks really cute. This truck is adorable. And I can't wait to see what this part is. Quilts, oh, wow. quilts, welcome signs. So let's get started. Everyone's like, hi, Joyce. Um, hi from the UK. Hi, Sue and Arlen. Oh, yeah. oh Karina. Arlen. I love that. <laughs> uh, Cindy, hello. Debbie, hello. Don Brown, no hello. No. Misha, of course. Oh, he's come up to wrangle the hounds. You might have to go sit upstairs with them, Don. All right, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Ready to get started? So okay. this is the beginning. And then we get like a quick little ooh, ooh. preview. Uh, spread kindness, not germs. Please wash your hands. Oh, that's smart. I all oh happy fall, y'all. Yeah, okay. I like it so far. Uh, let's oh <gasps> release right out. Now there's a lot of reading. Oh, this one quilts on a clothesline. Oh, I can't tell you how much I love that. Isn't that adorable? That's gorgeous. It's amazing what you, everything we see here, except for the ones that say coming soon or whatever, are all included. That looks like a lot of trimming. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Poor Lynn. Uh, growth chart markers. Oh, that's oh, awful cute. That's you know what? You idea. could use these for other things as yeah. well. Oh my God, look at these trucks. Oh, look at the snowman inside Oh, it. my goodness. Okay, so far. <laughs> Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. This is one of our favorite times. Oh, home sweet home. Oh. Simple cut work. So these little whatever spades in here, they're cut through. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it's kind of like a old-fashioned kind of design. Um I'll have to show you one so you can see what I mean. Uh, doggy day out. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Tell me which hound doesn't need one of those. Button jars. Oh. Okay, so there's real buttons in it. You put a piece of clear vinyl over it and put real buttons in it. Oh, no way. You like that? Uh, and a calendar, mini calendar. All right, it's going to be a lot of fun. <gasps> Lace butterfly. You can do these in your machine. Mini Ooh. calendar. We'll have to check out the, the size. So what it tells you, project number, project time, and how many designs. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's fantastic for that. So it's everyone. I love the truck and snowman, says Debbie. I know. Ooh, cut work. I want to learn that. It's actually not as hard as you think it would be. And the look is amazing amazing whoops i skipped one um so they give you iconology so for every uh design they use one of these and this is like a cue would be quilting landscape confetti so kind of like all the the different techniques that you use okay. so introduction they talk about different fabrics uh, they tell you common mistake, stabilizer tips, all sort of tips through it. Um, and look, they tell you exactly what you need. Notions, stabilizer, fabric, hoop size. Nice. So, 
coordinate your entire year. Ooh. Well, that's super fun, isn't it? I like that. So you get all the information, and then uh, these are the designs. Oh, Aww. I love April. Oh, I love April. Oh, July, June. Oh, with the bees. Oh, I love August, too. Those guys are cute. Any hot, any hot pink thread in there? <laughs> it, it, a hot pink thread is cool, Lynn. <laughs> Neon pink, not so much. And no, I didn't see any. Why is no November an acorn? The, uh, my birthday month just always sucks. It's an acorn. So I'm kind of like a nut that a squirrel hides. <laughs> Maybe that's it, right? December's okay. beautiful. October, September. Great ideas. Gorgeous. Now look at this. Would you like to know absolutely every step and tips mm. of how to do it? Perfect. Yeah, everything you need to know. Like everything. It's wonderful. But the butterflies scare me. Why do butterflies scare you? They're easy. They're freestanding lace. It's just stitch and go. So, yep, yeah, tells you everything, how to do it, what to trim, when to trim it, the whole bit. Oh, oh flip that. calendar. That's different. That's a great idea. A whole new year. Now you would be able to punch holes in the fabric like let's that? see what they did i guess they backed it on paper they glued it to paper oh we've got you covered this diy tutorial includes bonus calendar card design okay i'm gonna give you everything you need to know so tacky spray tack it down that is so no they didn't put it through. They put it through the paper and they glued the fabric on. Oh, okay. That's a pretty good, pretty good set. Okay. Yeah, they mounted it on cardstock. Yeah, we can see that now. It's cute. Yeah. All right, so growth chart markers, which I'm going to say are super cute, but I don't have any. I'm not getting to get any taller. Neither is Dawn. Maybe uh, we should no. do it like wide wise. They'd be good for magnets. That's what I was thinking. Um, remember, like you can change out the lettering mm -hmm. if you want, if you're very careful about it. However, for this purpose, they are adorable. See, there we yeah. go. Little monogram, so many different ways. Yeah, you always have to think outside the box with these. They can be used for many things so here's your material list your sewing room and look perfect perfect everything tells you what to do when to cut it out how to cut it out and finish it that's neat it's nice. so cute look at the colors i know two little birdies super easy to do and just a small little thing that I think is amazing. And they have quite a few, two or three, I think. I don't know if that's quite a few, but um, I think of these growth charts, which I think would, if you had little ones, yep. or I think it would or be- Or even for grandchildren too. Well, yeah, that's still having little ones, I guess. So I love it. Oh, they're so, look at this <laughs> crocodile. I love it. And, and the, the bunny, piggy. I like the piggy. <laughs> Be, oh, bunny, too. You could use that for Easter yeah. as a tag yeah. or glue a magnet on the back. I mean, why not? Oh, look, there's so many of them. Oh. Look at the sunflowers, sunflowers and bees. I love it. I love it. What is this? An eggplant? I don't know. I almost thought it was a grape. It might be. I don't know. But these ones, the fall ones, are... Yeah, isn't oh. that cute? That's, oh, look, yeah. B for B. That means I have to make it because it's... Oh, and the sunflower. Wow. Like the sunflowers. <laughs> that was my alarm <laughs> to say get ready for the next show. All right. Spring one, two, three. So this is a sneak peek, and this is what they're bringing us. Uh, oh, I love that. Oh, that is adorable, too. And this looks amazing. Oh, nice. I love these kind of stitches. It's awesome. So the next project, uh, Doggy Day Out. 
Oh, stitch your design. Did I skip? No, nope. just making sure I didn't skip. Stitch, it's applique, standard applique. Use a rotary cutter and ruler to trim away the excess base fabric. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at the fire hydrant. <laughs> That's cute. Look at this guy with a flower eye. Look at these guys oh, talking. Oh my goodness. Oh. That's really cute. And all the different bones. Okay. Love it. Yes. Love it. And then you can put it on a bandana or on a coat. Yep. Isabel. Hello, Isabel. Um, I love it. Okay, this is the one I was waiting for. This looks gorgeous. What a beautiful idea. Quilts on a clothesline. Whew, fabric, threads, notions, your cutters. Such beautiful pictures, too. Wow. I love it. Um, then they tell you about the sizes. So it starts at 5 by 7 Ooh. and goes up all the way to the big luminaire one. So that's per block. Wow. Not the whole size, so you can do it in five by seven. Um, you'd be hard pressed to find four by four in anything anymore, but five by seven, quite a bit of them come in that. So for this, Lynn, you would stitch out each block and then put them together and make a quilt. Hmm. So it's a big project, but you it know, it looks big. Um, yeah, but you just take your time. So design size guide okay so there's two different blocks square or rectangle quilt blocks notions lots to read oh, oh wow isn't that beautiful now which one do you like better with the pieced work in between which is called sashing or this one i like that one me too me too i love look at the mountains roll it just over. sticks out more I, it, it fits together like perfectly. It does here too, but right beside each other. You can do this, Lynn. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, applique. It's just applique. And even if you don't buy the all access, you can go on to a need a good design and just buy this design and you will get the exact same instructions okay. for this design. So they don't change it at all. Ooh, I kind of like it with the blue there. Yes. So you know these steps. Yep. Batting, trim the batting, put your fabric down. So sky fabric, trim it out. Yep. Green fabric and cut out the middle part too. Or no, they did white. I think it's white. It's hard to tell. And then add all look at all the details so, so that that's all fits. stitching all not the green but all the rest of okay. it is stitching okay so then the little bit of water oh, yeah wow. isn't that cute isn't that cute and then you just oh, stitch the, it look at the ducks uh oh isn't that what a nice detail right here what a nice detail oh my god these are so cute they're itty bitty little mini designs. Oh, I love it. Those Jackie would be Cheek, perfect hello. For like a farmhouse. Um, that would be perfect for my house. <laughs> for sure. I love the clouds and the sky and the background. And of course, you know, you can think outside the block, Lynn. You could do a retro 80s bunch of blocks and put hot pink and neon pink Ooh. and neon green and that fabric that you were given yeah look at all the different quilts though oh it's, it's so endless ah uh, it's so and everyone has a different thing in it yeah. cows in the background laundry that never gets done there's a church beautiful yeah, flowers. I like the laundry basket. I like the laundry yep. basket. And the trees with the shading on it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so pretty. Wow. Such detail and everything. Wow. Isn't that cute? See, I like that. Yeah, it's just folded and hanging up. This is so pretty, the piecing. Or is that stitched? It may be stitched. Oh, okay, so that is something we're going to have to work on. Stop, Odie. 
That's something we're going to have to... Stop looking at him, Lynn. He'll just well, squeak. I'm trying to get him over to the couch. Oh, well, okay. Come on. I'll carry on. This is the all-access release. You'll have to wait for the individual collections to be released on Anita Good Design in the coming weeks. They're usually pretty quick. I would expect by the end of the day or tomorrow they'll be released. I did see some of them that were on, like they showed you. Actually, I think they are now. I looked. I didn't. I didn't want to look and look too hard, but... Um, so these are really cute outhouses, pretty privies. His and her doors. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so everything you need. Oh, and oh, this is part of that. Okay. I like it. That's a typical outhouse. If you sprinkle when you tinkle, please be neat and wipe the seat. Hmm. You know, that's a cute setup. That's, yep. that's pretty cute. With the, this one, too. Because I was thinking, like, why would you put an outhouse uh, yeah. in your bathroom? But you know what? Yeah. That's really cute. Best it's, seat in the house. Yeah. <laughs> See, something <laughs> like that is pretty funny. I like it. Outhouse. So your sizes. So these ones are larger. 6 by 10 to the big luminaire size. So steps. We're showing quilt. And okay. And stitch out this, and then the actual outhouse is applique on this oh, one. Wow. Yes, and then all of this detail. Wow. Is that cool? Exactly what to do. And again, if you just buy the outhouses, then you get all the instructions, all the details. Look at the detail in this. <laughs> this is what, excuse me, why it's bigger because there's so much detail in it. I think that outhouse is heated, maybe. Maybe. Oh, yes. <laughs> there's a chimney. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. For those long times where hmm. you have to sit there. I'm not sure what you need a weather vane on top one. Make sure you're not downwind, I uh, guess. I'm thinking which way the stink is going to blow. Yeah. Maybe these are just vents, Lynn. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe. Look at the pretty elements, though. The trees and the details. And I love this little bucket of flowers. Yes. Look at the details. Isn't that amazing? It's gorgeous. I love it. Isabel says, I love yep. these outhouses. <gasps> Winter one. <gasps> oh, Looks wow. like, look at the <laughs> detail though. They almost look like a painting or something. They almost look so real. Yeah, I know. I know. Isn't that amazing? So that's applique behind it. And then the detail work. Amazing. Wow. Outdoor privy. Like you need a sign for it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can smell it a mile away. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's oh, cute. Oh, yeah. And the magazine rack. That's smart. <laughs> mad. I thought it said mad, like mad magazine, but it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, a lantern. Oh, that's smart. Yep. Beautiful. Horseshoe. Owl on top with stars. Yeah. Oh my. The detail is. Oh, would you stop? <laughs> Sorry about that. Slightly embarrassed. I set alarms like everyone else because I forget. I just hit snooze instead of off. So, apologies. Spread kindness, not germs. If you sprinkle, yes. I aim to keep this outhouse clean. Your aim will help. Smart. I like that. Nature is yep. calling. Yep. Yes. Best seat in the house. Perfect. Okay. Love it. Love it. Ooh, this is my favorite. Uh, coming releases. Oh, Ooh. that's wow. nice, isn't it? Fantasy quilts. Wow. Embellish your wardrobe. Fashion details. Oh, fantastic. Realistic safari animals. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait to get a close look at those. And Singer, there's that ginger. Ginger jars. Ginger jars. Um, they're beautiful. They are beautiful. Looks like it's pieced together. Whew, that's coming up. Wow. <gasps> oh. Home sweet home. Oh my goodness. Oh, if that's in a five by seven, I'm definitely trying that one. Isn't that amazing? Wow, even the, the iron fence. I know that's what's getting my attention. 
So applique, applique, all the good instructions. Oh. There we are. Flower Look at pots. that is some detail work. Okay, I love <gasps> mailbox. Uh, <laughs> now that I'm sure will be a five by seven. Perfect. So I guess the idea is you build the house with the elements that you want. Oh. That's what it looks like Sweet. to me. Look, this is gorgeous, too. Mailbox for the mail lady yes. sitting here. Oh, my God. Wow. Look at the lights. Wow. Bird bath. Would that, would that be all stitching? Um, depends how big it is. This looks like fabric, but you can never tell. We'd have to look at it. This will be stitching, yeah. yes. Um, that looks, I can see the stitches in it. We'd have to zoom in. Um, okay, so those are all the elements. So uh, I really like that. I yep. think that's adorable. I love the window as well. That's really yes. cute. You're, we're welcoming you to our sweet little vintage neighborhood with this collection. Each design features a quaint element such as a carriage, scrollwork gate, or vintage house surrounded by gorgeous and delicate floral motifs mm. okay that I, I i really like that you could do that on anything and put a funny saying and because it's your machine you could do a swear word too <gasps> yep okay this is what everyone has been waiting for vintage truck signs okay these are amazing Look at the pumpkins. Oh, wow. Hello. Oh, look at it. Peel and stick. Attach and remove interchangeable parts. <gasps> so you do one truck and then you change the elements. Oh. Oh, that makes it even better. VTS and VTS truck. So oh. six by ten, five by seven. Ding, ding, ding. Yep materials for the vintage vintage truck sign you do need an embroidery machine oh it is oh, look at that. so you could do the truck and then you change it for all seasons so sure. oh man that's awesome so this is how you make the they're calling it an attachment uh isn't that yeah. awesome and then this is how you finish it off and cut it out and fix up the back, the back of design. Oh, they're putting the tape on it. So just your normal, you know, front, back, stitch, stitch out, put your tape on it. Nice. So then this is stitching the truck. So oh. all the applique pieces. That looks like cork, which is really cute. It is really cute on the truck. Yeah. So all the details, all the pieces, and it is fully backed. This is the back of the hoop. And there you go. Mm. Then you put them all together. That's cool. And you can hang it. And they're just sewing the hanger part to the truck. And then these are all the designs that you can switch out. That is awesome wow. awesome oh, i love Aww. the pumpkins the Easter eggs. and if i know isn't that pretty um of course you could use these magnets you mm -hmm. could use them oh, for yeah. or stitch them out on top of a pocket so many things they're really cute oh isn't Aww. i love the snow people oh that is the happiest sun i've yep. ever seen isn't that awesome Okay, and then you can do different trucks with different views. Oh, personalize it. Yeah. Hello, Hillside Farm. That That's the one that I like with the cork on it. Yeah. Different views. Oh, man. So, then you get a happy fall, y'all, <laughs> sign to go with it, and you attach your truck to the sign. Oh. Nice. Nice, nice. I like that idea. Yeah, and then you can just change out the elements. Man, that's awesome. Okay, that is the coolest thing ever. So you stitch out the truck and stitch out 
pumpkins or almost snowmen. And then, you know, when it comes towards the end of the month, you stitch out the next one. Mm-hmm. All right. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, okay. This is coming soon. Sneak peeks. I love it. Cherubs. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Cotton bouquets. Oh, oh my. Wow. Do you love the modern farmhouse look? Incorporate these unique cotton inspired designs to your farmhouse home decor. Yes, please. Continuous line. Oof, man. Wow. Shirt pockets. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> no problemo. Yep. That's awesome. Christmas mice. Yep. Who doesn't love a Christmas mouse? Awesome. Oh, then you get your instructions. Look at this little guy. And it's just applique. Just lots of it. Not lots, but I like how they do this. They put blue skirt and then this part is stitched. Oh. It looks really well, I thought good. thought maybe it was applique for each part. Nope. Stitches. So oh. the white and the red. Cute. Cute. Oh, yes. Adorable. I know. I love it. Some, somebody's daughters are going to love these. I I know. Look at the plaid on this guy. <laughs> He's really something. I like the swirlies to show, like, movement. Oh, isn't that cute? You Aww. really like that, don't you? Isn't that really cute on a pot holder? I love the addition of the little lace there. I like this guy pulling Christmas his tree. little Christmas tree. I'm in love. I know lace. I can't tell you how much I love lace. So 10 designs. Let's see. I love the colors they chose. Yep. Um, they give you all the Floriani color numbers. And if you don't use Floriani, you can convert it. Um, there's a lot of programs, like even on your phone, you can convert it to whatever brand you use. I don't know if you knew that, but... No. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at the detail on it. So this is something that's freestanding lace, which means it's freestanding. There is no fabric. So you stitch it out on water soluble stabilizer and make sure your bobbin matches. You stitch it all out. You wash out all the stabilizer and you are left with this. Just stitches. Now this, the water soluble stabilizers that's what you use for the mug rugs yep Perfect. same thing you can just wash the whole oh thing out oh my goodness that detail wow look at that wow. looks like flowers in it i'd my be so mesmerized goodness. uh they're fun to watch it's um beautiful they're fun to watch though i love it so yeah wind your bob and wind your thread you stitch it all out and then look, trim it, you know, close-ish, mm-hmm. soak it, and then everything's see-through. Yeah, it's beautiful. Lace is one of my favorite things to do. And then they show you how to mount them. Look at that. That's on like a see-through thread, whatever that's like fishing called. Fishing line? Yeah, kind of. Wow. Butterfly. Oh my goodness. That is a fantastic idea. Oh, that's cool. Fluttering terrarium. Yeah, see in lots of ways. Oh, this is fantastic. It's all full of butterflies. Oh, this geez. is a special, yeah, amazing. Oh, and they tell you how to put this together. Okay, that is, oh! Oh my goodness. That's a fantastic idea. Oh my gosh, the shadow lamp. How beautiful is that? Wow. Yeah, how beautiful is that? So for the terrarium, they're just hot glue gunning the butterflies and putting them around. Mm. They put them on a little piece of fabric, I guess, foam, and then put them in and close the lid. Okay. Beautiful. This is how you do it. So hot glue gun around. Mm. That's amazing. So cut work, classy cut work it is. So this is how you do it. So if you don't know how to do cut work, this is how you do it. Um, usually water soluble stabilizer <laughs> and you trim 
on the inside not around the outside okay so this is your fabric here the white and look you trim on the inside okay and then you stitch out your design and when you wash it away it will be through oh isn't that clever i like that idea yeah so this part here and the center would be cut out yeah it's really cute it's kind of old-fashioned but it's gorgeous Wow. Oh, I love it. You could put them together or mix them up. Jill says the lamp is really interesting. I know. I know. Button jars. All right. Eight designs, 45 to 90 minutes. I think it's adorable. So it tells you everything you need here. The introduction, your buttons, um, confetti. You make your own confetti out of Ooh. fabric, I guess. Look at the colors. Wow, bright colors too. It's all about the buttons and fabrics. And they give you a little heads up on how to choose your fabrics and your thread. Oh my goodness, aren't they cute? How cute is that? Wow. That's adorable. That's so colorful. I know. So if you have any rogue buttons, this is when yep. you could use it. And you know what I would do? I have some Christmas buttons that I'll never actually use on anything. <laughs> Make it into Christmassy. Why not? Summer fun here. Sewing room. There's that lace again. Yeah. I'm liking that. Oh, oh. isn't that awesome? Oh, then they show you how to do it. So applique more applique that one's a lot of applique but i think it's awesome and then the clear vinyl um to cover it over and then you put your buttons in mm -hmm. stitch it all down amazing get wow. creative with confetti yep yeah. yeah isn't that awesome so confetti so instead of putting buttons you put confetti confetti your heart out <laughs> okay that sounds like a plan Okay, so now we are at the end of the book, and this is amazing, this truck. That is absolutely yes. amazing. Um, so this is all of your steps for each design at the back of the book for every, and these pages are every design that you get. But each step, step one, squaring stitch, then place your batting down, oh, trim, okay. every detail that you want alongside the pictures. It also tells you the sizes right here. So all the information you need, all of it for every design. Look, it, this is how many designs you get, Lynn. Wow. Holy, yeah, all of them. Holy all of them in each size available. Some have three, some have five, that sort of thing. Lace butterflies. Oh, and they're different sizes. Yeah, and they tell you how many stitches. And this is the cut work. And there's our little mices. Little mices, cut work. And then here. So wow. that's, and then on the back is a summary of all the releases. I really think Quilts on a Clothesline is gorgeous and freestanding lace. And maybe simple cut work is, a, oh, four by four hoop. Hey, cool. There we go. But that's a technique that we haven't really worked on. It's like opposite of the applique, but that might be a technique that we can do. Um, that would be really cool. And you must watch some freestanding lace stitch out as well. Nice. So what do you think of that? Oh, wow. It's a heck of a thing, isn't That's it? That's an awesome book. Yeah, it's an awesome book. Um, I usually can look at it and come up with fantastic ideas. Because, like, for example, nobody says your lace butterflies have to be these beautiful colors. You could do them in Halloween yep. colors. Yep. You could do them in... Christmas colors and wouldn't that be gorgeous and, on a tree oh yes for sure isn't that for nice sure. you could do them separately or in a garland or hang them in your window you could hang them in your window and make it match your house sort of thing I think these trucks are gonna have to be stitched so yeah I want to see them because I love that so that was 
awesome. Misha says, I really want the trucks. I know, they're so well done. It's fantastic. Judy Quilt says, Quilts on a Clothesline is my favorite this month. I, I'm a toss-up between the trucks and Quilt on a Clothesline. I think maybe Quilt on a Clothesline, though. Oh, I'm going with the outhouses. The <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Have you been hanging around me too long? <laughs> or the mailbox. Well, yeah, that's, the mailbox. That's a given for me. That's a given for the mail lady. The outhouses are cute with the cute sayings. Yep. So. And then Patty says the Christmas mice are really cute. Isabel, outhouses, trucks, mice, yep. difficult to choose. Rock, paper, scissors? I, almost, almost. <laughs> I think I would love to do those quilts, oh, yeah, though. Oh, yeah, home sweet home. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, just about everything is awesome. The buttons in a jar would be like in confetti. Mm -hmm. That would be awesome to um, another technique okay. to do. I'd like to kind of keep going with techniques, not just applique, because okay. there's so much more we can do. So we have a half an hour to get ready to stitch the I need a good well, design baby it's cold well, outside. Well I think I'm gonna go upstairs and get a paper towel to, to pick up all the drool all on the, the floor. <laughs> Outhouse drool. <laughs> Me I'm, I'm gonna decide quilts on a clothesline. Hot pink outhouse for Lynn. <laughs> Yeah, now she's going to. She has hot pink fabric now. She's cheering. You quite. know it. <laughs> Yes, the sense of humor, isn't it delightful? So, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys loved this as much as we did. Uh, quilts on a clothesline for me. Misha is in love with the vintage trucks. And Lynn likes the outhouses. So, I think it's some... Uh, I think the whole thing is awesome. So, um... Uh, I think that's so much fun. So I'll see you guys in the next video, which is about a half an hour away. <laughs> yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye.